to my subscribers, to those who conversate, articulate, and manifest their futures, create their lanes, break cycles, find their way out of darkness. Our examples of strength, our examples of resilience. I want to shout you out. Thank you for being leaders. Thank you for giving back to the community. Thank you for giving from the heart. Thank you for being genuine. Thank you for embracing your blessings and your purpose and your calling. Thank you for, thank you for sharing the word. It's a beautiful Sunday. Here is currently 70 degrees. Pretty warm considering we haven't even broke 11 o'clock. But I woke up this morning pretty peaceful. With the usual things that come across my desk. Considering the future or the possibilities that the day might offer. And it dawned on me that I need to reevaluate some things. I need to attack my perspectives and my ways of doing things a little bit more. I need to put all of it under the microscope and hold myself accountable for the way I move and operate more and more throughout the day as I continue on this journey to share my thoughts and my opinions on life and matters concerning the people. Now, the reason why these shades have been introduced into the video is because Throughout my time watching clips and posts, observing conversations, observing documentaries, uploads of any sort regarding the welfare of humankind in its natural habitat, living throughout their daily lives, doing and making decisions that are put on forefront in front of millions and millions of people to validate, argue over, commentate on, and create conversations and narratives behind. I've come to the conclusion that there's a lot of uh, things that we need to protect ourselves from. In the topic that I will be discussing here shortly is an example of what I mean, which is why the shades are here. The shades are here because you have to be careful with what you put your eyes on. Eyes are the windows to the soul. So whatever you take in visually, it manifests itself internally. 
it, it festers and it begins to harvest, you begin to create and sow seeds out of what you sow based on whatever desire or whatever need it is. And you bring forth fruit of whatever kind or result it may be in. So, let's get into it. If you noticed the title, there's a story that's going around all the internet. If you're not familiar with it, you will be by the end of next week. There's no way that you won't be familiar with this topic or this story. It's on TikTok, it's on Instagram, it's on Twitter, it's on YouTube. It's any and everywhere possible. Why is it so prominent? Why is it so important? Why is the life of Kiki Palmer and her child's father being posted on the internet for the world to see in such a outlandish way. Now, I don't go on the internet looking for stories. They just fall into my lap. It's just like turning on the news. So I happened to come across this one. And as the story goes, Miss Palmer had recently just had a child. On this particular evening, she decided to go out and, you know, have a good time, which is nothing wrong with that. Apparently, she ends up in a concert. And in the concert, Usher is performing. Hell of a good uh, singer. Fan of his work. Character-wise, that's not for me to debate with anyone. The way I see the way he maneuvers and deals with people, I could be right or wrong. But for me personally, as a person, I don't know him personally to judge him. But based on the things that's been put in media, I wouldn't associate myself with him outside of business. the characters that he displays in these stories that get put on him. Whether or not you believe media is purposely trying to destroy him or you believe that that's actually who he is as a person. I wouldn't want to associate myself with that. Now a lot of people would be thrilled to know Usher will be thrilled to hang out with him, to go to parties with him, to do all of these different things with him. Even if it meant sacrificing and um, risking their own morality, their own principles. A lot of people will look away at wrongdoing just to be attached to something that could make them lucrative in that field or that area. But I look deeper than that. You can have all the money in the world. You can have the best soothing voice in the world. You can be this attractive male or woman. You can have all of these wonderful accolades. But what does your track record say? Your attitude towards your fans, towards your family, towards 
how you conduct business, how you treat yourself, how you converse and how you articulate and how your spiritual presence is affecting the people around you. I look more so towards that. Why am I even going that far into it? Well, let's spin the block. Kiki Palmer goes to a concert and she's on stage with Usher and he's singing to her. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to go out and having a good time. Everyone enjoys itself in different ways. Some people like to jump out of airplanes. Some pipe, some people like to go to clubs. Some people like the 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 thought of having that adrenaline rush from racing on the highway at two hundred miles an hour. She wanted to go to a concert and see one of her favorite uh, artists. Okay, let's put that on the forefront before we go into the actually where things kind of turn left. So she's on stage, she's dancing, she's having a good time. He, he approaches her and he starts to sing in her ear. You know, they kind of got like a embrace type of a closeness to them. He's right literally in her proximity in her personal space. Now the problem for a lot of people comes into two different scenarios. The way she is dressed The way she decided to present herself and represent her spouse in the public eye. Not long after she just had a child. The other problem comes into play where Her boyfriend decided, okay, not really feeling this, post a tweet expressing his disdain for her choice of outfit. Immediately, He's bombarded with all types of different messages and comments and tweets and retweets. Social media is on a warpath. Everyone is in a frenzy. To attack, to assault, to stand up in the gap between two parties that should have never aired their business in the first place. Now let's let's start here technically it's not any of our business what they do behind closed doors what their relationship is like I shouldn't know your bank account I shouldn't know how much you bring in I shouldn't know all of these different things that's going on in your personal life. 
But if you decide and choose to put it on display for the world to see, understand that there's a great sense of responsibility that comes alongside that. So you're wrong. You're wrong there, on both on both parts. And a lot of people are probably going to say, "Oh, she's she's an independent woman. She's rich. She bust her ass to get to where she is. She's done all of the hard work that was encapsulated within her own walk to be able to get on the stage and do this. Can't no man hold me down." Can't no, shouldn't no man be able to tell her how to do this and how to do that. She, she did everything the way she wanted to do it. If she wants to get on stage and do this, and do that, it shouldn't be a problem. Why, why are you so offended by the fact that she's on on TV, doing all of this stuff when that's how you met her? You met her as a Hollywood star. You met her as a musician. You met her knowing what came with her lifestyle. Why are you bothered by her being in front of the camera now? Why are you so insecure? Here's my issue. So, you're picking apart at the fact that he has a problem with how she's conducting herself and representing him. They're in a relationship. You are a reflection of the person that you are with, whether it's a friend or it's a partner in life. You reflect them. You represent them. How people see you, they're going to look at the other person the same way. Where we need to stop is this tax bracket, this, this scale where we want to attribute a woman or a man's level of respect or um, credibility based on what they provide financially and for the camera and for the people. So you're looking, you're looking at her as this big Hollywood superstar actress who is known all around the world, black queen, You go, girl. You're looking at her as someone who is an example, who represents women. You're looking at her as you know, she's perfect or she shouldn't be held to the certain level of standards as an average nine to five person. So how dare this guy who may be not as known or renowned as he is, you're looking at him as if he should just accept or be okay with being a rug beneath her feet. He has no say. He should just buy him and let her do whatever she wants. And that's be perfectly clear here. We are adults. You have the right to do whatever you wish and desire to do. We all have that choice, but when you decide to get into a relationship, when you decide to have a child with someone, when you decide to stop playing 
house and you take on serious matters and you get involved in certain things like sex and you decide to bring children in the world on top of being in front of the camera where you're literally going to affect millions of people by the things that you decide to do with your career whether it's a commercial and you're trying to sell something or you're in a movie and you're trying to bring people in to watch it whatever it is you're doing you have a huge influence on people and I don't care what anybody say oh I don't care how famous you are I don't care da, da, da. I don't care I'm going to do what I want regardless anyway I don't get starstruck I don't this I don't that that's a small minority maybe that maybe that's you but there's millions of people who try to dress up like Batman there's thousands and thousands of people who try to be Captain America that walk around acting like they Cardi B think they T.I. think they Usher I went to school with people who thought they were Usher thought they were genuine dancing and singing to the, the, the girls in the classroom and all that shit So maybe you, maybe you're not easily affected by it, but a, a lot of people are. A lot of people are easily affected by it. So for Kiki Palmer to be in the position she is with her career, getting sponsorships, getting deals, being one of the backbones for women empowerment and all of this other stuff that come along with it. You're telling me that you don't find anything wrong with how you came on that stage and dressed. You don't think there's anything wrong with how you came on that stage and dressed after you just had a kid. Oh, oh, I get it. Because you Kiki Palmer and because you got money, you can't be told anything because you're a black woman and you had a struggle and hardships and the patriarchy this and the patriarchy that and because you're in the limelight and because you get all this attention you can't be told this isn't right you're wrong that's trifling that's disrespectful to your man you can't be told that's not how you conduct yourself as a woman So it's okay for you to go up there and let this man damn near grope you with your ass cheeks hanging out for the world to see after you just had a kid. You think it's okay to represent yourself like that knowing you got a person at home who's showing you respect. Who's investing in you, who's being loyal to you. Now, I don't know what your personal life is like outside of it. Maybe it's not as healthy as we think. Hollywood's full of shit anyway. I don't buy it in the first place. A lot of y'all relationships be fucked up. But y'all get on the camera and act like y'all perfect. So. Who's to say he don't, you know, put hands on her or whatever. But from what I'm seeing and what I've, I've gathered for myself personally, she got it on this camera like it was another day at the job. And I honestly feel like, you know, she, she just had the kid and she want to feel like she's still sexy and she's still attractive and she can still get the attention from, from guys that she she did prior to the child. So she she wants to just still be in that um in that childish phase of wanting to be sexually lusted after. 
and validated. So I I say a lot of that has something to do with that. And when I, I, I look at the comments and I, I heard them and I read them and I just gathered everything I gathered, there's people calling this man all types of different names, attacking his ego, attacking his career, attacking his person, attacking just every aspect of him because of the fact that he called her out in front of the world about things that the majority of real solid men would have the same similar response to. I don't, I'm dating you and you get on front of the camera and on Facebook or IG or wherever and you're getting a lap dance from anyone. You, you grinding on them, you doing all that. You have naked. It's a wrap. We have nothing else to discuss. I don't want to hey, even have a conversation. What you're not going to do is have me looking like a fool out here. Because now you've done that. Anybody who knows that we're together, they're going to be like, oh, you let your woman do this. You let your, she, she for the street. She this, she does, she does. You just, oh, if they could do it, I know I could do it. That's immediately what happens. Any, any dude who really don't care about your relationship, especially, they see something like what Kiki Palmer did on there. Oh. Her, her man soul. Her man ain't gonna be there long. She using him. She walking all over him. I can hit next. Let me get her in her in inbox. Let me DM her. It's a wrap. But you, as the woman... You lack so little empathy and an ability to care what the man wants or feels that you really just completely disregard that. Because it's all about you. You're selfish. So now this man makes a post and he's getting so much, you know, bullshit that he takes down one of his social media accounts. He's trying to defend himself. He's... And this is my issue because it's bigger than just what Kiki Palmer did is what her um, behavior patterns exhibit. It's what her example promotes is what she does in the position that she's in causes ultimately down the road what she did was just another example of what we see full blown way more than we should and it started way before her. But she's up there so comfortable that it's like people are looking at the shit like it's normal. Like it's harmless. Like there's no repercussions or there's no aftermath behind things of that degree. Like someone will be completely surprised at the idea that she, someone is upset anyone is mad about that like I'm not supposed to be bothered by the way you are dressed up there and they go all, it, Sierra Sierra was way worse than his Jada Pinky Smith hell Adam 22 is a 
I don't know if he's a former or current, but he was a adult entertainer. And his wife is an adult entertainer. And he lets her sleep with other people. They're married. Someone make that register here. What are we doing? I, I get it though. When you aren't controlled by a certain set of laws and a certain set of rules, you can explore the most depraved regions of your subconscious and live them out as you please when you don't have any restrictions keeping you back. That's the only way I could ever understand why a man would allow his woman to get pipe laid down for monetary gain. Hell, I don't even think it's just for monetary gain. I think there's other aspects to that that created that. But let social media get involved in all of this. Ching, ching, ching. Because now you got multiple platforms talking about it. Shunning this person, shunning that person. Adding ads to their, their you know, posts to their videos to make money off of because they know that the eyes are on it. Everybody wants to know what you think about this. How do you feel about Kiki Palmer walking around half ass naked and disrespecting her her man like that? Because men are going to speak up. They're going to speak their voice. Women are going to defend women regardless. Most women don't even hold each other accountable for the way that they conduct themselves. They'll let that shit sweep under the rug and keep it moving. You have a small select few of women who will say that was trifling. We need to do better as women. We need to do better as people. We need to hold women accountable just as much as we hold men accountable. Yes, there are double standards. But see, we are in a a certain place in life where everything is about monetary gain. Everything is, is about validation. Everything is about being seen, being the voice, being this, being that. How do you really know if these people really care about Hollywood or the people that's, you know, doing all this stupid shit in front of the camera like that? How many of these people are really fans of Kiki Palmer? Or, or really know them or really like them as people? This shit is a business. The content creators eat off of the chaos and the dumb shit that celebrities do. You take their drama, you mold it into something that works and benefits from you. But you could give two shits about those people. And I'm speaking about specific creators. I'm not talking about everyone. 
everybody's stuff is different. But I'm I'm just I'm appalled. I, I feel I feel bad, not in the sense that um, if it was me, then I I don't know. I just don't have it in me to be down with some shit like that. I can't look at you the same. And the, and I, the folks that, you know, get in these comment sections, y'all are the worst. A lot of you are so fucking detached from reality. That shit is crazy to me. But it speaks in such a high value. that it's so easy to extrapolate from your words and the way you, you know, post that you're not really someone that's all that great to be around yourself. The folks that, you know, accept and defend her and defend anyone who moves and operates like her, you're really not any better. You're the end result of what's being pushed in social media. There, there aren't many leaders. There aren't many people who don't follow a certain system, that don't suck, don't follow a certain vibe, a certain flow. Anyone who, you know, idolizes Glorilla and, and people like Beyonce and Cardi B, knowing how fucked up they really are in reality, says more about you than it does them at the same time. It just tells me that we are getting more and more away from what we should be invested in than we could have ever been. And those are honestly my thoughts on that whole matter. Yeah, that's how I really feel about it. To each his own. Now, you, you want to take her side, you, you, it's okay for her to want to dress how she wants to dress. It's okay for, yeah, okay, yeah, you can dress like that all you want. Do it singly. If you want to be for the street, be for the street. Don't bring people into your into your life knowing that you have a certain lifestyle. Don't be selfish. Do that shit on your own. Do that shit with pe other people who, you know, vibe with your energy that match that same Don't bring decent people into your stuff. But you have the nerve to tell this man not to bring public affairs public, but you publicly just humiliated him in public. But because of your status in Hollywood, you have, I guess, the green light to do it because you're in a different, different pedestal than he is. Because we pedals we pedal we pedestalize women. We coddle them. Let them get away with shit. Knowing damn well is just as wrong as if the next person did it. Alright. 
Okay. To each zone, I guess. But it's not going to get any better. We keep on repeating the same thing over and over. I think we're going to get better results. You think shaking your ass on TV like that is benefiting you when it really isn't? You think acting like a masculine ass man is benefiting you, but it really isn't. You think that that hard shell that you got up where you don't need a man for anything because you got all this money and this and that and the third is going to bring you the happiness that you desire ultimately is not. You think that attitude is going to want. You think that attitude that you have is going to bring you the people that you need in your life. That they're going to want to stay and deal with that shit. Because I'm looking at it like this. If you feel as if you don't need me. You feel like this is okay for you to do. Then there's no point in me being here. Let me go find someone who respects me in this partnership. In this friendship. Let me find that where I know that it's going to be cohesive and I don't have to worry about this slander and all the unnecessary shit that comes with this. That's just me. But thank y'all for hanging out with you, boy. I wanted to jump on here last night and I didn't. I should have, but we here, and I think this was a a good conversation I have. I think it's important. Got some more things coming up here soon. Be on the watch for that. I'm making my way around, so this is the entropy, no cap, all world. Signing out.